Hello everyone, Trigon here, and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, you know what? Getting past this stupid thing wasn't a checkpoint, so I had to actually do that again. <laughs> because I left off here last time. Oh, dear. Alright. Let's deal with this stupid witch. If we can. Alright. Looks fairly straight forward at least. That was a long jump. Chasing Grandma. Nadia, I think I found oh. your wicked veil. And here's the camp I don't right know if here. Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Yeah, right. I love how when you walk up to the fire, you start warming your hands. <laughs> At least Growler has stopped shivering. Well, oh, well, Growler was a little chilly. A little chilly? You were shaking like a leaf, though. Not last episode, the episode before that. Oop, here we go. What's this? Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing not. Especially if you if you run into Growler Croft here. <laughs> okay, this looks oh some sort of pollen drifting in here. Yeah, that's that's not good. The flowers like shooting stuff. Oh no, oh no. It's, it's, it's too late. It's too late. Shiny. No, must be dreaming. Is it real? I can't be. Yeah, I don't think they turned to look at you like that. I'm guessing that's the pollen. Oh, Growler's head don't feel so good. Yeah, well, you're tripping balls, Growler. Just keep moving. Nothing there. <laughs> Laura, Laura. Dad? Dad? No, yeah. it can't be. And yeah, yeah, I agree, it can't no. be. Wait, wait. All right. Uh, all right, oh wow, this is getting sort of hard to navigate here because my if I look from side to side it's really wait, wait. really how, how far does this path wacky go? can't go in there That looked like an open path a moment ago. It changed. It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop. Please don't. Oh, God, no. Okay. Don't remember seeing that before. Uh, we know there the is a truth behind it all. I just want to leave, please. Well, this doesn't look right. No. No, this isn't. <sighs> yeah, I don't think that's there. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Stop! God damn you, stop! For me it is too late. Me it is too late. Me it is too late. Wait, he just walked oh, off into a tree. Do it, Someday. Oh dear. You'll understand. You'll understand. You'll understand. You'll understand. Yeah, he's gonna wait till we walk up to blow his brains out, isn't he? Oh, 
Except that didn't look like daddy. This isn't good. say your father awaits for you? She said something awaits for you. Laura! Laura! Can you hear me? Are you there? Yeah, I just realized this girl sounds like Sam from the first game. What happened? You started coughing, said something about flowers and pollen, and then nothing. I thought the witch had killed you. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? <laughs> there. That there water is a doesn't look clean. In a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. <sighs> Search. Any idea what this place is? Cavern for clues. I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. <clears throat> My grandmother was a scholar, and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer, who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. Okay. Don't miss this jump. It's a long drop. Back down into the water. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just floor down there. Tools. I saw a smanner. Someone's been in here recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit. Of course. She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Navia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. Uh, what? What am I supposed to do here? Okay, hooking this thing up to the machine didn't do nothing. Wait a minute, let's go over the... Is there anything on the other side? No. Maybe I was just too slow? Let's try it again. I've got to bring it lower. Okay, got to bring it lower, but how? See, nothing to shoot. Oh, is this another crank over here? Yeah, there we go. 
That'll do it. I guess I'm trying to open this door. I hadn't even. I just saw the stuff. Oh, the stuff all can be interacted with. I better interact with it. <laughs> God knows what it does, but you know, I just you know crank on things that. Nope, not ready yet. Crank on things that I need to well, crank on. That should be enough. Just have to get the bucket closer. Okay, well, that was a couple dialogue options playing over each other. <laughs> At least this one didn't evaporate like in the last game where they just evaporated after breaking through something. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange veil. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic. Bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. Well, that's always a good plan. <laughs> I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. And now back to run more errands. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, we can use the... Oops, what was that? Oh, that's another journal. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. <laughs> a comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until... I met her. Okay, so he was a member of the Communist Party who came here to help run the Gulag. And had misgivings about it. I don't have the words to describe what I just saw. I went inside the wicked veil. Crazy works. Grandfather, but I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy no. tale through a broken, filthy mirror. And, Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is extraordinary. I have to find out what's behind all this, but first, I have to find a way to see if it Okay, we got breath control so we can hold the stupid arrows longer. Oh, wait a minute. There was a reason I was going in here. <laughs> Forgot myself. Alright, let's head back to making the antidote. Okay, fast travel. At least we don't have to make that trip again. We can use the stupid fast travel. Come on. Load. Today, loading is a nice thing. Oh my god. 
there we go, finally. All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pods. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. Yeah, I've seen the them. The should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right. I'll start gathering the other supplies now. Challenge completed. Into darkness. What? Uh... Is this not... Oh, what is this? I thought we were going into, uh... <gasps> The cave where I cleared out for the the guy, cleared the wolves out for the guy. But no, this is a different cave. Growler would know where Growler was going. You're just lost. Yeah, shush. The There's some of the flowers. Just need the seed pods now. We got one of five. I don't remember what's down here. Ooh, there's gold down here. I like that. A growler like that. Oh, there's more seed pods. Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmissions Ooh. since the distress call. Interesting. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. And we need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Nah, it wasn't her. I'm the one that killed them. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses, and I have snares set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Damien. Is this the Prophet's normal forge. for you, Laura? <laughs> I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay <laughs> Happens safe. to her every day. <laughs> okay, up here, I guess. Looks like we want to go up there, but I don't see any way uh, up there. That's okay. I, I just tried to throw a flare. <laughs> okay, there's something over here. Uh, this Cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material, and there must be someone who knows how to build. Damien was that man. They say he could muster brick from nothing more than a handful of dirt and a tinderbox. They say his craftsmanship was divinely inspired. It is his hand that gave form to the architect's dreams. Okay. Maybe we don't have to go up there. I see some way to go here. Maybe that's the way back out up there. Oop. Boy, this is more than half the flowers we needed just coming in this cave. Ah, there we go. What's this? Doesn't look like the stuff we usually get, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Just looked odd. Okay, yeah, there's where we just were. Ah, cool. We made it into here now. Well, this looks like quite a drop. Uh, can we... What's in here? Somebody's tomb. But it's in bad shape. <laughs> well, we found an ancient bow part. Okay. Well, all those weird weapon parts are definitely worth the trip, but I'm a little confused why I'm in here. Also a little confused how to get back out of here. 
<laughs> can we just climb back out to this hole we saw earlier? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Oh, well, that was just a shield. All right, so we found three of the seed pods, and we got a little bit of gold and a little bit of uh, ancient bow, bow goodness. Um, look over this. And we know there's another cave along here somewhere with more of the seed pods. And possibly more critters wanting to kill us, so... You know, keep your eyes open, Growler. Oh! oh. Ooh, more goodies. I suspect this is not going to particularly help me. I think this is going right back to the cave we came from a while back. Let's jump over here. Okay. Another. <laughs> How on earth did somebody get the truck over there? Okay, here's the other cave. Let's here's somebody guarding it. Hello. Hello. You've seen the mine by the old Soviet facility? Many of our people died there. Oh, I see you got a grave here for somebody. Yes, sorry about that. And a grave seeping something. That's disgusting. More dead... No, it's the same dead deers. You guys just haven't moved them. Don't you think placing the person's grave right outside your hiding place is a bit of a giveaway. Ah, uh, you're back. Hello. We could use you. Uh, okay. Hello there. The Soviets abandoned this place in a hurry, and they left salvage all over the valley. Put it to good use. I'm here to help. What can I do? Our first task is to learn all we can about the invaders. We need any information you can gather in the old prison. I won't lie to you, it will be dangerous. But that information is worth the risk. Back into the old prison. Will you help us? I almost got killed getting out of there the last time. Yeah, why not? I'll head there as soon as I'm able. Yeah, I'll right, be here. Right now we're doing and something else. Thank you. I guess that'll be next video. Oh, here's some more of this. I can't grab it, because I'm full. Wow. Uh, let's see. Do I need to craft anything? Doesn't look like I can craft anything. Oh, here we go. Is that five? Yes, that's five. We need two deer livers, which means now we need to go shoot some deer. Is this the way I know I went the wrong direction? Didn't I? That's okay. It's all going to come out in the same place. We're just going to have to make a little jump here. I didn't leave yet. I haven't been able to find anything yet, but I'll keep looking. <laughs> People are crazy. I go around the corner. It's like they have no object permanence. Go around the corner and all of a sudden, I've been gone for months. <laughs> oh, there's the bridge right there. <laughs> I'm blind. Yeah, you sure are. Okay, so we need deer. There's deer all over the place here, so this shouldn't be a big problem. Let's go down over this direction. Get ready to deal with wolves. Hello, wolf. Alright, well, I guess we missed him. Oh, is this one we can harvest? Cool. Now we just need one more. Oop, did I hear a deer? Let's just look for a deer. I swear I keep hearing, like, clip-clop a little hooves, but... 
all of a sudden after having them all over the place here, now all of a sudden they're absent. That's nothing. Nothing there. I think there was a cave there. Maybe not. Oh, speak of the devil. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness sakes. Where, where are you going? Pick. Ow! The stupid deer? <laughs> that was a nice shot, girl. I did not expect him to go head over heels. Her to go head over heels. That chemical from grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. <laughs> I suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. All right. This direction. Now this is where our main mission takes us, but I don't think we need to actually go on the main mission to do this part of it. Oh, and here's all the deer. All of them. There's three of them here. Yuck. Okay. I think about Dad every Another day. skill. Wow. For years, I was so angry with him. For losing himself in his work. For chasing what I thought were fairy tales. I don't care tales. about blood trails. I have no don't, idea. I want the double shot. I keep telling myself that well, I was young. this is new. That I couldn't understand. But I still lost him. And now... A large capacity reason, ammo and things. We'll take that. ...than I ever did when he was alive. He never got this far. All right, yeah, Dad never got this far. I got all that. I was only half paying attention. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention, but I was more worried about what we were trying to do here. Oh. Lara, are you okay? No. Yes, I'm at the base of the old Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. I'm a little busy helping out all your friends. Yeah. Growler's just one dwarf. Can't expect him to do everything. Actually, I think we all do sort of expect you to do everything, Growler. Comrades, this report comes to you following an unprecedented discovery in the mountains of Freedom Station. <laughs> Freedom Our deep Station. mine crew has broken into a massive cavern filled with incredible ruins and artifacts the likes of which have never been found in the motherland. The workers that we acquired from the native population have become agitated following the discovery. They clearly know something about these ruins. We will begin working the prisoners around the clock, for I believe we are on the verge of an even more amazing discovery. Or of getting yourself killed, which seems a lot more likely given how everything around here looks. <laughs> I don't see anything here. What am I looking for? I mean, I mean, I know what I'm. I'm looking for the chemical, but what on earth does it look like? Oh, that's. Is there a? There is an indicator for me to see it. Uh, let's climb here. Looks like it's over that way. I can't get through there. I could just jump over here. I guess I will. It looks like it's down there. And we can go ahead and yank this open. It'll make it easier to get through here in the future. And where is it? I've lost it. It's showing... Yeah, it's like right here someplace. Is it inside this hot building? If it is, how do I get in there? Okay, here's a way in here. 
But that's not letting me into the... Oh, I think I know. That was not what I meant to do. Come on, Growler. Hey, you screw up and blame Growler, sure. Well, yeah, actually. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Well, that was a bad jump. <laughs> Still made it nonetheless. Got that. Got some ammo over here. We definitely can use that. Don't need any more of that. What's this? Eat Found loot. it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... Oh, no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably too late. Sorry, Laura. Damn. Well, it's okay. I'm used to having to kill people. Just you and me. Yep. Stick your head out. Oh. Light her up. Well, that didn't do much, especially since you were full of arrows by the time we got. Oh no, there's more of them. Oh God. I hear you shooting. Well, I see somebody down there. Ow! Don't do that again. I see you over there. Ready to see if the antidote works? Girl, are you getting particularly good at good at killing all these people? I'll make my own and meet you at the veil. I'll let you know when I get there. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be it for today. We got all the components we need so we can go back into the veil and then tomorrow we will or yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow we will deal with the veil itself. But that is it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. You know, just don't lose your, Oh, he, he does have a head. It was just a bad angle. <laughs> if you like the video, tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we will see you next time. Have a great day.